Hello and welcome. In this video, I would like to show you how to calculate the iroacoustic noise of a nozzle. I found an open access paper for simulation and everyone can download it. This is a nozzle that I draw it in SOLIDWORKS. All of dimensions are according to the paper. I'm using parameters of this paper. And you can see dimensions of the nozzle. Okay, it's simulation time. Let's go. First, I in the fluid flow box. Then I'm going to import the geometry. In mesh setting, I'm going to define mesh and inlet and outlet boundary conditions. First, I'm going to define inlet and outlet boundary conditions. It should be noted, ANSYS recognizes the inlet and outlet areas according to names. I'm going to define element size according to paper. Okay, this is uh, maximum element size. Mesh generation has been completed. These are inlet and outlet. I have to update mesh again. Okay, I'm going to open setup. Be sure to check box double precision in solver setting and solver processor depends on your CPU. Fluid in jet is compressible, so it's better to choose a density based solver. I have to enable acoustics model. In the steady time solver, we only can model broadband noise. Fluid is compressible, so I'm going to select ideal gas. Energy equations have been automatically enabled when I select the ideal gas. Boundary conditions of inlet and outlet are pressure. First, I'm going to define inlet pressure. Inlet boundary condition is velocity, so I'm going to change it to pressure. And this is inlet pressure.
and this is outlet pressure. I don't change any of the method setting. In initialization, I'm gonna click on initialize. As you see, the solution will be converged. In the final step, I'm going to enter 500 iteration. Solution has been completed. And it's time to create contour of sound power level. I'm going to select acoustics. Then I'm going to click on display. Maximum acoustic power level is 105. Maximum power level of paper is 109. Therefore, there is a slight difference. Thank you for watching.